If you guys want to pick yourself up some coins for the upcoming team of the season, then check out ufever.com in the description down below. If you use discount code KURT5, you get a whopping 8% off amazing discount right there. And also, they're very, very cheap for PlayStation coins right now. So check them out in the link down below. If you guys are looking to pick yourself up some cheap Microsoft points, PSN cards for the new team of the season coming out soon, check out G2A.com. Also, if you want to get some cheap PC games, they're perfect for it. Check the links in the description down below. Cheap for football managers, CSGO, and all that great stuff. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 16 video. We're going to be looking at some new legends that could possibly come into FIFA 16. It took me quite a while to put this together and I actually was really happy with how like the design turned out in the end. So if you guys do enjoy this, please smash that like button. If we get it 350 likes on this episode, guys, that'd be absolutely amazing. Comment down below any legends as well you would like to see in FIFA 16 and perhaps we will include them in the next episode. But without any further ado, let's get stuck into it. So first up, we have Johan Cruyff. This guy is one of the finest footballers to have ever graced the game. He had an unbelievable time at Ajax winning, I think it's eight Eredivisie titles, three European Cups, Super Cups, instant at the lot. He won the lot at Ajax and he had a fantastic time whilst he was there. He's also one of few players to have won three at Ballon d'Ors, which is absolutely crazy. He had a time at Barcelona where he won the La Liga. He is one of the as Americans would say, winningest player. He has won so many things, whether that's individual awards, like team awards. This guy has won it all. Also, the inventor of a Cruyff turn. I always think it's amazing when players have skill moves and different moves named after them. But this guy, even was amazing for Holland, would be an amazing legend. Some great stats. Oh, fingers crossed we get him. Next up is David Beckham. Now, this one is one that I think could definitely actually happen soon because he's a sort of player you could see actually getting involved in something like a legend system. He's obviously, you guys know who he is, he's a bit of an England great, most England fans love him. Incredible free kicks as well, which will be amazing on the game, I'd love to use him. But he's won six Premier League titles, he has won the uh, Champions League once with uh, United, he's won the La Liga with Real, he's done a great time in LA, he's done... And monumental things for American football. It's crazy to think he was at LA Galaxy for five seasons and of course ended his career with PSG last year. He's got 115 caps for the England national side. He has won a lot of different individual awards as well and it would be amazing if he got this card. It's a possibility he could also be a centre mid but personally I think he'll be on the right. Next up we have Zinedine Zidane and I feel like I should be saying this for almost every single one of these players that they're one of the finest to grace the game but that's why they're legends. That's why they really truly are some of the best going. Now, Zinazine Zidane, it's such a shame that he ended it with that headbutt in the World Cup. It is just such a pity. But nonetheless, this guy did unbelievable things for his national side. He scored some of the most important goals. The World Cup in 1998 that they won, well, he scored the first and second of the three goals in the final against Brazil. Their game against Italy, he actually put them 1-0 up in the final of that World Cup. They didn't hold on. They ended up losing on penalties. He also scored the one goal in the semi-final, and he also scored a goal in the round of 16. This guy carried them through a ton of different times and was absolutely sensational for them. He has won so many different things at so many different clubs. He's won what I think he has the longest list of individual awards you can find. I mean, this guy's got Young Player, Player of the Year, Man of the Season, all these crazy awards. This guy has won it all and he will be a sensational card. Next up, we have a boy very close to my heart. Now, I do also want to say for all of these, don't take their ratings too seriously. I, I wasn't really sure about what to do with them. Some are very, like, we even noticed this from EA. Some are higher and they should be, some are lower and they should be. I did tweet out, though, to get a consensus for Henri. And the general thing was 91, 92, 93. So I kind of went for in between and went for the 92. But this guy... Obviously, is one of the finest Premier League strikers there's ever been. 174 league goals in 254 appearances for Arsenal, which is pretty solid. Um, obviously, his record wasn't quite as good as some of his other clubs, but he won a lot with Barcelona. I mean, we just look at him. Again, he's a player with one of the longest lists of individual honours. This guy has won golden boots everywhere. He's won. He, he's done a lot. This guy's done a lot. It's a shame he wasn't able to win the, uh, the Champions League with Arsenal, but he did win it with Barca, so at least he has got a Champions League. And again, he's another player that's done huge things for uh, American football. Football, and I do think as well he's going to come back and have a huge effect on Arsenal in the next uh, however many years in the behind the scenes sort of stuff. And last but most certainly not least, we have El Phenomeno, one of the guys that is honestly just, he's not, he's one of the best strikers of all time, and if you disagree with that, then you are insane. It pains me so much that when you search Ronaldo into Google, you have to go to about the third page to find this guy. He is unbelievable. Now, I genuinely do think out of all the lists, this guy might have the longest individual uh, awards one, because he is the true striker as it gets. I mean, this guy has scored goals for days. He has been 
twice World Cup winner. He's also been a runner-up in 98. He won it in 94, 2002. He's won the Copa America twice. He has won almost everything. And he's also done it in loads of different countries. A lot of people say, oh, can he do it in this country? Can he do it in that? He's done it in Holland. He's done it in Brazil. He's done it in Italy. Two different trips. He's done it in Spain. Two different trips. This guy has done it all over the place and he is one of the best around. And funnily enough, he's actually playing for like a third tier team right now. He said a couple weeks ago he will come and help them in the playoffs. That would be the only time he plays, which I personally think is absolutely sensational and what a card this would be four or five star skills would be amazing nonetheless guys i hope you did enjoy this video smash that like button if you did like i said if we could get 350 likes on this that'd be insane also comment down below any players you would like to see get a legend card in the next few years have a fantastic day guys and i'll see you all next time Bye bye